have a funeral rate. We intend to let Santa Claus throw you something promising. If I don't kill your sister, then me, I am sick. You got to do the right thing yeah, that... by call the cops. No, it's not. No, call the cops. Jen, no. Baba, stop that. Tanya, you don't play with threats like this. Jen, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 you don't play with threats. He's called the cops. It should escalate. He's threatening you in front of me. A few moments later. During an update with the Orlando police, investigators say they were able to arrest the suspect in yesterday's shooting without any further violence. As that man now faces first degree murder charges in the killing of his wife, we're learning more about his background and a previous run in with officers. Detectives say it was a calculated crime that happened quickly outside the Navy Federal Credit Union on Tuesday. As Barbara Tomey was arriving for work in the morning, Orlando police say her estranged husband, Sylvester Ofori, fatally shot her several times. They were going through a divorce and they were estranged for approximately three months. Investigators wouldn't elaborate about any warning signs that might have led up to the violence, but court records show a fight between the couple in 2016, something that resulted in resisting arrest charges for Ofori that were later dropped. That was his only arrest in Orange County until yesterday. Yeah, you tell a uh, man, man, I need my uh, $2.50. I'm not playing with him, okay? $2.50. I've been waiting. For a whole day for it, okay? I need my $2.50 so I can go get me a cup of coffee when I leave work today, okay? Thank you very much. Make sure you tell them, all right? Thank you. Oh, damn. Oh, well. The show must go on. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again hit you all with a wonderful video. Hopefully, this video will save somebody's life. If not, I did my part. We have a story, you all. Yes, we have a story coming out of... Florida by way of Orlando from a pastor, a so-called pastor, who they said was a prophet. I don't think this pastor prophet was doomed right here. And he goes by the name of Sylvester Ofori. Yes, well, the name of Ofori, you know he comes out of Ghana by way of Africa. But anyway, now, not only did Sylvester Ofori shoot his wife, Barbara Tomey, 27 years old, and may she rest in peace. My condolences goes out to her, number one, and also to her family because it's a crying shame because all the signs was there. And you all already know that I talk about signs all the time. You have to watch those signs. When you're driving down a highway, why do you think you see signs? Because it shows you where you're going. So if somebody tell you that they're going to kill you or they're going to put the paws on you or whoop your ass, you have to take things seriously. George, this guy was posting pictures up on his Facebook, was posting pictures up everywhere, basically showing snakes and saying that how he's going to get back at somebody, how people show you their true colors. But at the same time, Sylvester Ofori had to be one crazy-ass person. I have to question people who listen to this guy because, number one, if a guy uh, been beating on his wife and everything way back in 2016 when the police was called on them, and due to the fact that charges was not pressed, the charges were dropped, should have pressed those charges. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you this also, you know, in sad situation. Look, no amount of restraining order, no amount of paperwork, legal work, whatever you want to call it, Nothing like that is going to stop somebody from doing harm to you if they really want to do harm to you. It don't even matter if you have a police sitting outside. You see what I'm saying? I mean, if some person want to get to you or kill you, they're going to do it regardless. So the best thing to do is stop it as soon as it happened the first time. Now, I wish I wish I could turn back the hands of time, you know, and tell Barbara Tommy, leave this crazy guy alone. But the signs was already there. And the fact that this pastor was already older than Miss Tommy, the pastor was 35 years old looking at every bit. A rough and tough murderous 65 in the face. And his wife was 27 years old. He was eight years older than his wife. So you mean to tell me, Mr. Sylvester Ofari, you cannot leave your wife alone and go on by your business. All these women over here in America, this is not Africa. I don't know how they do things there. I'm not trying to talk down to people there. But one thing about it in America, you cannot beat these women. And then you cannot damn sure kill them. And then the fact, the audacity of this ninja, he goes back to his apartment after he kills his wife, like basically going there. And the police basically said, one of them said they found him in the kitchen cooking an oxtail on a bed of rice and everything. He was just having him a good old lunch. But that goes to show you the nature of people. But look, I'm not going to tarry too long. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. Orlando police arrest U.S. base 
gunning him profit for killing his wife. Well, he should have stayed his ass and gone. We wouldn't even have this problem right now. And once again, my condolences goes out to the Tommy family because Barbara Tommy was a very beautiful woman. And it's sad that you have guys like this and women too. Women kill guys too. I did countless stories. But you have guys like this who will sit up here and read up, put a woman in the grave, kill a woman or seriously injure a woman instead of letting her move on with her life. Let me tell you something. Look, if you really love somebody, I want you all to pay attention. If you really love somebody, the main thing you want to see them is what? You want to see them happy. You do not want to see them sad because if you love somebody, you of course you want to see them happy and, you know, live their life out to their fullest potential and, you know, do things they want to do. But when you want to control somebody or you slick side hate somebody, the thing you want to do is keep them upset, keep them in a state of constant fear because that's not love. Love do not operate like that. And the fact that this couple was already separated for three months show you that this pastor, Sylvester O'Farri, wish they had video right here. And I couldn't show the whole video because it's very vulgar and very bad. But it's very sad that this man called himself a pastor will sit up here and profess in front of everybody that he's going to kill this woman and have it on video. You know, we don't have to speculate or anything like that because we speak number of fact, fact, facts over here. But anyway, Orlando police on Wednesday released new information of a shooting that left a woman dead outside of Orlando Credit Union. Came to this woman's job because, of course, he know where she worked at. You know, if she worked at one of these credit union, Navy Federal Credit Union, you know, basically waited for this woman to get in her building and everything because she couldn't get in because the doors was locked. And all this was around about 9 a.m., you know. So he waited right before the credit union was open and walked up to her, basically open fire on her, killing her right there on the spot. And they have all this on surveillance video also, which you can't show that also, but it's ways you can find it, and which is very vulgar and very bad and graphic. I don't want you all to see that. But, you know, some people will try to find that. But it shows him walking up to her and gunning her down, just like he said he was going to do in this video right here. If I don't kill your sister, then me, I am Now, during a news conference, investigators revealed that Sylvester O'Farri, 35 years old, but look every bit of 65 in the face, who is of gunning and descent, was apprehended by officers late Tuesday and was accused of fatally shooting his wife, Barbara Tommy, 27 years old, a very beautiful woman, and Barbara, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to talk down or dead or anything like that, but Barbara, you could have did better than that right there. And I'm trying to tell you this right here. You could have tell that joke was crazy right there. Detectives attached to the case revealed that the couple was in the process of filing for a divorce and has been separated for about three months. So you all were separated for three months and this pastor was losing his damn mind. But who want to say with somebody abusing them? You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they do it in these other places around the world or whatnot. I'm not trying to talk down on no other continent or whatever. But here in America, these women is not going to sit up here and let you beat them up. Some of them will, but a good woman with sense is not. But the family did everything in their power to try to get Miss Barbara to leave this man, which she eventually did, but evidently it took too long. But it wouldn't probably matter if she would have left earlier because one thing about it, he probably would have killed her anyway. Now, police disclosed that Afori is a pastor at floodgates of heaven ministries in Orlando. And who in the hell in their right mind going to listen to these charlatans, these false prophets? You know, I did about seven, eight stories this year of these pastors. Basically had about like four of them killing their wives and stuff. Now, how are you going to sit up here and have so much God in you, so much God fear and tell people what they're doing right and wrong? And then you sit up here and murder your own wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that right there? I don't understand that. And not to mention, the pastor Sylvester Farry had a big online following where he had close to like 60,000 people listening to his BS message because the reason why I call it BS bullshit is because look what he have done. None of that meant nothing what he was telling you all. You know what I'm saying? It did not mean a damn thing because one thing about it, he should be the first one to practice what? What he preached like Barry Rice said. But anyway, the fatal shooting was reported to the police before 9 a.m. Tuesday at the Navy Federal Credit Union on Guard Parks Boulevard. It also, investigators announced that Tommy was a staff at the branch and was shot by Afari several times as she arrived for her shift. She was basically outside waiting at the door for them to unlock the door. And then he walked up and murdered her right there in cold blood. And they said that she was caught by surprise and everything. But it's a sad situation. Now imagine if you with this person all this time and not knowing that this is going to be the person that's going to kill you. This guy who's supposed to be a preacher. This guy who people was holding in high regard. But think about it, though. There's a lot goes on behind these closed doors. And everybody said they're a man of God. It's not a man of God. And everybody says they're a woman of God. It's not a woman of God. If you love something, you would want to see it happen. You would want to see it grow. You would not want to kill it and watch it die. See, that's hate right there. I don't understand. How can you be a pastor? How can you be a man of God? How can you tell people how to govern and live their lives? And you around here are a hypocrite. The biggest charlatan there is. 
And then the pastor will have nerve enough to put memes up, a picture showing snakes and how people will turn on you and uh you don't poke somebody who's been nice to you. You don't mistreat somebody and the whole time he was mistreating somebody. What the hell is wrong with this guy? You know what I'm saying? You cannot reason with people like that because think about it. How in the hell can you be the victim when you're the one beating on somebody else? I don't understand that, but let's finish. Now, during the news conference Wednesday, detectives did not indicate if there were any warning signs prior to the killing, but there were plenty of warning signs. How can the detectives not know this, but we, the people, social media, YouTubers, and other bloggers, can find this information? Of course, there was warning signs. It's a damn video right here. I'm saying he's going to kill a damn woman. Anyway, a court record show Fauri has been arrested before. This occurred in 2016 after an altercation with his wife. He was taken into custody on one count of resisting an officer, but the charge would later drop. So basically, they did not even charge him with domestic violence or anything like that. But it's a crime and shame that this guy decided to take upon himself to kill this woman, 27 years old, a very beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? Still in her prime. And then he decided that if he can't have her, no one else will. Watch out for these type of people right here because it makes no sense that you will have somebody who's supposed to be a man of God, who's supposed to be called by God. That's why I say everybody that's called by God is not called by God. Some of these people is called by them damn selves. Some of these people are called by Satan himself. Because one thing about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even a pastor, but one thing about it, I'm not going to kill nothing, and I'm not going to let nothing die. If nothing is trying to hurt me, I'll be damned if I try to hurt it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, people, be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you follow. Be careful what you let come into your system, your mind, your body, your temple. Because everybody that say that it's for right is not for right. Look at the actions of people look at the fruits of their labor you know what i'm saying anyway let me know what you all think about this story if there's anything you want to add to it please do so in the comment section and once again my condolences goes out to the tommy family and also to barbara herself because in a sad situation all this could have been avoided if if the first time things happen you leave get the hell away from that person no matter if you have to go across state in truth some people may follow you some people may not but at the same time, you know, I believe this woman did everything she could to get away from this man. But you know what? Things just happen. Anyway, make the right decision. Be careful who you love. If you like the story, push that like button. If you like the story, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, let me know in the comment section what you all think about this story. And also, I want you all to have a very good day. Have a very great weekend. Stay blessed. Put God first. And also, if you're having trouble in your relationship, whether you're married or boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, Try to talk things out. Try to reason things out. If that don't work, try to get counseling. If that don't work, separate. Live and let live go on with your life. Anyway, I'm out.